Hi, welcome to the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for Stock Options on April 16th, 2020. Our goal is not to teach you how to use this amazing software. It's to show you that pretty much every day there's an opportunity to make 10% on your growth on your trades in about 10 minutes. However, we're in an amazing time and if you want hang in a little bit longer you can make a lot more so uh, we're just gonna start here with uh, Amazon I don't know how I got off Amazon and roll back a couple minutes and you can see that it came out of the uh, no man's land and then it just sort of came you know came across it didn't know if it was gonna go down it kind of touched it a few times, went went under it a few times, not not when we want to get in. Of course, you're going to work with a coach and get your own rules. So just getting back to where we were, this is, uh, we've got some volume, some extra volume on the bottom. That's this little pink. We've got our green paint. We've got our K-bands. We're outside. It's, you know, looking pretty good. We wait for as uh, that famous uh, fellow once said, you know, how did I make all my money? William, well, uh, Warren Buffett said, I got in too late and I got out too soon. So we're thinking, thinking you know, we're not, it's not established. Ah, now I think it's probably established. So we're going to jump in and we're going to buy a call and we're going to move forward and see what happens. Now, uh, we're looking like, well, maybe we should have... Uh, got out but no we're still good we're still good oh, there's a movement now that might be at 14 a good time to get out what time is it 1046 we've got some profit let's let it run we've got the basket at the bottom is green and these are five minute candles sort of even things out a little bit and it's you know so the power has kind of got out of this thing we've got lots of things telling us we should leave it's 21 percent and we're going to get out now just continue on a little bit further see what happens so there was a little bit more uh, a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more well, let's see what's happening now a little bit more, a little bit more. So yeah, we got out uh, earlier than we should have, than we could have. We could have stayed in a little bit longer, but 21% uh, is not too bad. Now around the same time, so if you had missed this move, and we just moved back to about 10:30. Um, you can see Tesla is still in no man's land. It's going up, it's going down, nothing's happening. Really risky time to trade because we don't have a solid movement, all right? And now we're, it's looking like we're breaking out. We've got a whole pile of uh, lines here, which are all um, uh, resistance points. So if we break through those, it might be pretty good. Oh, and there we did. So let's just go a little bit further. All right, that looks good. We've now moved to five minute candles. We're gonna buy a call and we're gonna continue to move forward. Oh, there's a good, good bump and it's continued. If it had fallen back immediately, I would have got out as fast as possible, but it uh, looks like it's hanging on to that. We're almost at the, we're past the pivot, which is this line. Where is it? Over here. You can see the pivot. All right. And this is looking pretty good. Now we're at 39%. We've got some sort of signals coming out. We've got uh, 750, which is always uh, those, you know, round numbers. We're still green, but I think, you know, that's good. We're going to get out and just go a little bit further. Uh, went a little bit further up, crossed the previous high. That, of course, was 
between the 750, let's just move this out of the way. So the 750, that's a resistance because a lot of the trading is done by computers and it's just automatically set when you hit 750 sell. So that didn't happen. It ran through it. It ran through the previous high. It went, ran through the RA. So that's cool. But we got out down here because, hey, we get in too late and we get out too soon and we make our money, right? And there's, is that the end of it? It's looking like it's the end of it. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So the last one we're going to look at is Amazon. No. Google. And uh, we're going to go to 12. Yeah. So we're almost there now. So we're going to take a look at Google. And as you can see, it's gone down a little bit. It's really been running around no man's land. It's been just a little bit above, trying to decide what it wants to do. So let's uh, just see if we have a trade here. Of course, I'm confident that we do. It's looking a little green. Not much is going on. Of course, lunchtime is everybody takes lunch, so not much happens, right? Usually, and we're back in no man's land, not much is going on. Now we have broken down. So, uh, and actually, it's a strong red day, low volume, selective good trading. It's a weak bear trend, and our basket is red. So, even though we did two calls, we're now going to do a put. see what happens now well, looking good so we broke through the 1250 or have we yes no okay uh, it's looking like it's turned we've got this 1250 mark here this is also the low that this candle made so I'm expecting it to run along here for a while I don't want that stress. We made 13%. We're out. And yeah, so this is called high stress as opposed to sitting on the beach. Is it going to continue? We're now guessing, right? So we don't want to guess. And I called it running along. Now this might be another move down, but uh, that's 140 and that's 1245 so that's one hour of gnawing on your teeth no thank you all right so let's just take a quick look here we are Amazon 21 percent Goog 12.6 percent Tesla 39.1 percent pretty nice day and of course you wouldn't have run Tesla and Amazon. You would have just run one of those two. But if you'd missed the Amazon run, then you could have gone with the Tesla run, which is actually was better. So uh, we don't advise you to do more than one trade at a time. It's very hard to keep them all together. And of course, you're going to be having your own rules. So uh, we're in a pretty significant bear market. If you look in the descriptions, you've got a course, the bear market course, that will help you deal with uh, you know what's going on. And of course, uh, of course, we have our other Udemy courses in the description as well. Recommend that you take the courses, go through them twice, feel really comfortable with the strategies. You're going to be making your own rules because trading is very much a personal thing. And uh, then we've got a 30-day free trial for you working with a coach as well because that's going to shortcut you to uh, trading success. When the stock market goes up, you can make money with options. When it goes down, you can make money with options. And you don't you get in, you get out, you don't stay overnight, so you get a good night's sleep. See you next time, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, leave some comments. Bye for now.